hello welcome to this video is Leonard here from detailleonard.com and in today's video tutorial we are going to be looking at bitget exchange okay and specifically we'll be looking at the bitget exchange features trading so this tutorial is going to teach you everything you need to know on how to trade features okay on the bitget exchange all right so if you don't have an account with bitget already you can actually sign off an account right now okay using the link i've provided in the um, video description and you qualify okay you stand the chance to win up to four thousand dollars or for free all right you can see that when you verify your account all right you you get you know three dollars and all of this then if you make your first deposit to your futures trading account all of the instructions are there on the uh, registration page okay just click on the link go check it out all right and see how you can actually qualify for the four thousand dollars each of these tags if you complete them okay you get the appropriate bonus that is attached so if you want to try out bitget exchange then use the link in the video description to sign out and then the four thousand uh, worth of crypto could be yours all right so with that being said um okay so i do send out signals like this all right to my telegram group if you want to have access to these signals okay it is free um you need to join the telegram group which i've, I've post um, the link is in the video description okay you can actually go try out these um signals all right and see how you can actually start using it to trade features and start making profit daily all right all of these are made available in the um, telegram group so if you want to be a part of the community and get access to all of these and my zoom meetings then a uh, link to join the telegram group will be in the video description all right so once you sign up for a bitget account the first thing you need to do is log into your account everything i'm going to explain in this video will be on the web version of it okay um one beautiful thing i like about the bigger exchange is that their user interface both on on the app both on the app and the on the web are very user friendly so it is very easy to navigate through the uh, um, um, exchange on the app on or on the foot on on the web okay so i'm doing everything on the web all right so um once I, you log into your account you want to come in here to where it says features okay um come into features and then you have the usdt m features you have the usdc m features you have the coin m features and then for those who want to start you know learning how to trade you have a demo account where you have you know access to free funds that you can start using now to trade okay so for the usdt m features it means that we'll be trading with usdt that means we need to have usdt okay so whatever pair we trade that is um against usdt will get paid in usdt as well for the usdc it means that you need to have usdc all right and then for the coin it means that you need to have either bitcoin ethereum ADA, all of these um, diff, uh, um crypto coins okay that is what you need to um, trade with if you have bitcoin and you're trading in bitcoin it means at the end of the day you are settled in bitcoin as well all right so we we'll just focus on the trading um procedures are just the same all right just that you need to have usdt in this case or you need to have um, usdc in this or you need to have bitcoin ethereum um solana and the rest in this all right so we'll go with the usdt um m features okay so if i click on it it takes us to the trading um interface all right so once this load up, I'm just going to do um, like a brief walkthrough of what you need and to know here. And then we'll go ahead. I'll show you how to, you know, start um, placing trade. Okay. Already I have some indicators that I've been using already. So I'll just close these indicators. So I'll just show you how to add them up and how to set them. Okay. And use them to make decisions in market. So I'll just close it. And by default, when you open this, the chart will be on the original. The original is a default chart of the BitGet exchange. Okay. But I prefer using the trading view. So I'll always switch to the trading view. And when I switch to the trading view, you see that I have access to all of these tools here, these measurements and drawing tools. Okay. I have access to all of them and I can use them to analyze the market um, for a, you know, a better chance to profit in the market. All right. So with all that um, said, the next thing you want to do once you come in here to the features trading interface is to select the coin you want to trade okay you just click by default it is btc usdt okay so you click on the arrow they drop down here to um, bring this down so you now go ahead and search for the coin you want to trade if it is ethereum you can go ahead if it is ADA, any of this coin you want to trade just go ahead and type it into the search bar there and then that coin will pop, so pop up and then you just click on it and it will be loaded to your chart okay so right now you see that it is a btc and everything i'm going to demonstrate here will be with the btc pair 
all right so here on the, um, the top here after selecting the coin you will see statistics of that coin okay the, the market price the index price the high okay the low in the last 24 hours the traded volume in the last 24 hours and then you see here the funding rate okay showing up here okay it tells you if you are going to pay your funding rate in the next how many hours or few minutes or thereabout it show all of that here okay and then if i move um to the right okay to the right corner here you see the um, features calculator so if i click on it this is a features trading calculator you can use to calculate your profit and losses you can use it to calculate your you know close price your liquidation price before you enter any trade okay you can go ahead and use the calculator to all, do all of that all right so here um by the left we have the chart okay in the middle here we have the order book okay um you see the order book here and then um, by the right here okay we have the um position we have the option where we can uh, you know enter a trade whether we want to short okay or want to long the market all of the details we'll see that here all right another beautiful thing we can do here is i can come in here to move this around okay if i want the other book to be by the left all right i just drag on these three lines at the top right okay if i over over it you see that my mouse okay will change to the high icon so if i over over it, i can click and then drag it to wherever i want it so if i want it by the left i can drag it and drop it here now because i drag this it has shifted the chart down here so i can equally drag this and bring it up this way okay so i bring it up that way all right so i overshoot that so bring it closer all right so now, now i have my other book by the left i have the chart in the middle and then i have where to take my trade by the right all right so you can just move this around the way you want it all right whatever you want you can go ahead and adjust that and whenever we take a trade we'll see all of those okay those in position those um, that are open orders and the rest we'll see all of them down here all right with that said the next thing we want to do is after selecting a coin you want to go to select the margin mode okay if it is isolated or cross mode any of this you want to trade with go ahead and select so all i just need to do is if it is cross you see a fine just click on if it is isolated just go ahead and click on it so i'll go ahead and click on this and by default it is on the um, isolated mode if you want to use cross go ahead and do that all right for cross it means that if you have a thousand dollars in your um, ambitious trading account whatever position you are opening you are risking the whole of that a thousand dollars meaning if you don't put stop losses if you don't manage your trade well and you get liquidated for any reason the whole of the money you have on your account will be gone okay the whole of the money you have on your account will be gone and then if you are using isolated um and then i have a thousand dollars and maybe the trade i open is just hundred dollars it means that if i get liquidated for any reason i'm losing only that hundred dollars okay so that is the, the difference between um isolated mode and the cross mode all right so once you understand that go ahead and click on confirm we go with the cross mode and then the next thing is to select the leverage okay so as a beginner i always advise that you start from 1x leverage or um, to 10x leverage except when you're sure of the direction of the market then you can go as high as you know 100 leverage and so on okay so with the bit get exchange i can actually trade for um, you know particularly for the btc all right i can uh, trade up to i can you know open a position what um, one, uh, 125 x leverage okay <laughs> okay so what it simply means is that if i have some funds in my account let's say i have ten dollars and i'm using one two five x leverage i'm going to get 125 times that amount of money that i have okay to open that position but one thing you should understand about leverage is that the higher the leverage the higher the profit you make and then the higher the losses you can equally incur if anything happens all right yeah that that is what you need to know so i just leave it at 75x leverage and then go ahead and click on confirm all right then after that now another thing I, that is worth noting you see that because we are approaching the uh, time for the funding rate okay um big guy will notify you here okay that the next funding will be in the next three minutes okay so if you open a position here if you are opening a position where you are the one receiving the funding rate it means that that is credit to you okay if you are going to pay funding rate just know that in three minutes the funding rate will be deducted from your account and so on all right so with that say the next thing you want to do is to transfer funds if you have your usdt or your funds in your spot wallet or your p2p wallet you need to transfer it to the features account so 
if i scroll down here you see where it says usdt asset all right and then um towards the right we see transfer so you click on the transfer and then this dialog box pops up okay what do you want to transfer is this usdt any of this coin you want to transfer go ahead and select it okay so in our case in our own case is usdt so i select usdt where do you want to transfer it from either from spot okay or from the p2p wallet so we are transferring from spot to the usdt um m features okay so after that you go ahead and click on confirm and the funds will automatically be transferred to your um um features account okay so once you have funds right now to demonstrate this i just have a dollar 14 cent here that is what i'm going to use to demonstrate this okay so that is what we're going to use and then we have the open long position or buy long position or sell um um short here okay these buttons and the rest so and then um, after that the next thing i need to do is first I'll analyze the market okay using this chart remember we are on the trading view chart and to do that i'll add some indicators i normally use um two indicators okay in this video i'm just going to show you how to use these two indicators to analyze the market and i'll just come up here okay here where it says indicator if you hover over this it says indicators okay so click on it and then the first indicator i want to add is the ema okay so if i just type ema it brings out this moving average exponential just go ahead and click on it to add it up to your chart all right and then the next indicator i want to add is the macd all right these are the two indicators i trade with so i go ahead and click on this macd and then add it up to the chart all right so once i add it up to the chart the only indicator i need to tweak right now is the um ema okay so click on this setting icon here and then come in here to the input and make it 200 so I'll change it. I'll change the length from nine to two hundred, okay. And then for the style, I can make it um, the line a bit bolder so that you'll be able to see it, all right. So after that, I go ahead and click on OK. Now I've done that. That is just all I need to do here. And the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and um, um, make this um, chart full screen by clicking on this icon here. So if I click on it, it makes it full screen. This way we can see the market clearly and be able to analyze the market. Now, the way I use these two indicators is I use this as my signal, okay, to enter the market. The MACD is what I use as my signal to enter a trade, whether short or long. Why the 200 EMA is what I use to determine the overall movement in the market, all right? So after selecting the time frame you want to start trading with on, okay, now when these candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average we're only looking for a buying opportunity an opportunity to long in the market okay so when it trades above this 200 moving average we'll look for a buy opportunity and then when the candlesticks are trading below we look for a sell opportunity all right so that that is just the simple logic we are going to be using uh, to actually um trade in the market okay so the the, the, the 200 moving average gives us, you know, the overall um, movement of the market, right? If it is in a downtrend, in a bearish market, or we're in a bullish market and the rest, okay? So right now, you see that the candle has been trading below this 200 moving average. And because these candles are trading below the 200 moving average, what we now do is, um, right now, the 200 moving average will now serve as um, a resistance, okay? It serves now as a resistance for... The market currently and then when the candles are trading above the 200 moving average the 200 moving average becomes a support okay so you see that in all in most of the time this and uh, we retrace close to the 200 moving average and then it comes down again it retrace close to the 200 moving average it come down okay it retrace in most cases it toss it, it touches the 200 moving average and it will still come down again all right for instance if this if you have taken this trade here all right remember now the way i use the macd is here on the macd if i click on the setting let me show you okay if i come to the style um you see that the macd line is the one that is a blue if i make it thicker so that you'll be able to see it okay the blue line here is a macd line and the signal line is the one with this color okay this yellow um or is it brown color or there about okay whatever the color is all right so i'll make it thicker again so that you'll be able to see it and then click on okay all right so the way we use this is when we have the blue line cross over the signal line the macd which is the blue line cross over the signal line and then the histogram begins to form um you know green candle at the top okay we look for a buying opportunity all right and then we have we have the macd 
okay which is the blue line crossing over the signal line facing down and then the candlesticks um the histogram begin to form red candlestick beneath um the zero line here okay we look for a sell opportunity for instance if we have taken this trade here all right all i just need to do is to come in here to my um short position to remember the candlesticks are trading below so we are all, 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 always looking for a short opportunity to short the market so i'll, I'll look for the short position to slot it to my um, chart here okay and then if i follow this trend in the market all right this would have given me about three to four percent move in the market all right the same thing happened if you have taken this trade again all right somewhere around there if you have entered this trade here and then you follow that trend okay remember that the macd equally confirms this all right so first the um candlestick or the market retraced back close to um the 200 moving average and then started going down all right and then here we now have a confirmation that the macd all right the blue line is crossing over the signal line and facing downward and then this um started forming um you know red candle beneath okay so with this is a pure confirmation we would have just shot this market and would have made another three four percent in the market all right so the more i scroll down here you see more opportunities you see this one okay here you see that the macd equally crosses below and then the histogram started forming red candle beneath okay so if i've taken this trade here let's say we enter the trade somewhere around here okay and then you follow this trend down here this would have made you uh, you know nine, eight to nine percent in move in the market all right so once again the trading rules is um we are only looking for a short opportunity in as much as this candlestick continues to trade beneath the 200 moving average okay if for any reason it breaks through and start trading up okay we'll now be looking for buying opportunity all right so now for the buying opportunity you see that here the candle actually you know break through all right and then started trading upward uh, um, on top of the candle okay so here you see that the macd equally confirmed that by you know breaking through this and then started forming green candle at the top so this way if i follow this right here this would have given me nine percent okay the same thing happens here when you see that it retraces and touches this remember what i say when the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average becomes a support okay so meaning that price will always you know retrace to the 200 and then go up um and, you know for many times before it breaks through when you have a breakthrough like this you wait for it to go down and then you start you start looking for short opportunity okay so in this case we saw this here and then the 200 uh the macd crosses over the signal line all right so if you have followed this trend here for a long position let's say you follow this trend somewhere around there okay this would have made you four to five percent or even six to seven percent okay move in the market you would adjust this and follow the trend and you would have made profit all right so this is how i use this two indicator the macd okay and then the 200 uh, moving average all right so i just close this um full screen close it up and then once you know how to use this indicator the next thing is just to look for an opportunity okay right now um i'll just go for the purpose of this demonstration let me just delete all of this okay all right so now that you understand how to use the macd the next thing i want to do is to look for an opportunity okay i'm going to enter a live trade now to show you how this works. now on the five minutes i don't see an opportunity because i can't take this already um the histogram here is beginning to fade out so i can't take any trade right here so i'll go to the one minute and see if there is an opportunity okay yeah there is an opportunity here all right you see that the macd just crossed over um the signal line and then the candlestick has retraced to the um you know moving average here and it's beginning to go down so we're going to short the market all right remember i've selected my um, leverage here already and then i'm going to use the market order in this case all right so i just use market order and just go ahead and click on the market order and then i'll use 100 percent of the funds i have here the 100 percent will be you know the one dollar um that i have here or thereabouts so i'm going to open a position so once you analyze the market and you see the direction the market is moving just go ahead and open it as short or long position so once i open a position here you see it um showing up down here all right so i have a position that is running down here already and um, that is on the 75 um, x leverage okay and um what you can see here the margin of what um the margin okay we are um, risking in this is just um, this okay 
it's just a dollar you see the margin here is just a dollar and then we'll get liquidated if this market goes down to 19578 okay so this is what the market looks like and then this is currently our profit if it goes in our favor we take the trade if it goes against us you know we just go ahead <laughs> and put stop loss and the rest so after placing your trade okay whether opening a short or the long position after opening your trade the next thing you need to do is to set your take profit and your stop loss all right so here on the position we have a position here already which is um running in profit as you can see then what we want to do is to click on the take profit option here to set our take profit so i just click on it then go ahead and click on understand and then you can set your take profit okay you can use the slider and move let's say we want to take profit when the market move by 500 percent okay which means that the market will go to 21,000 for us to be able to you know make profit in the market and then we'll go ahead and click on the amount we just say 100 percent okay so if the market moves up by 500 percent remember it's one dollar we are risking it means that we are going to be making five dollars in the market all right so using leverage is one of the um, ways you can grow your account faster but you need to be careful and know what you're doing in the market all right so if the market moves by 500 percent all right then we're going to be making um five dollars in the market if you want it to be 10 percent 100 percent of the rest just use a slider or just put in the price you want to take profit here all right based on the analysis you've done in the market all right so you just go ahead and once you put in the price here, go ahead and click on confirm so if it gets to this that means my one dollar will be making me around 38 cent okay so i'll go ahead and click on confirm to confirm my um take profit level so go ahead and click on confirm and that has been placed successfully okay so you'll see the take profit here on the open order and then coming here to the take profit and stop loss so you see it here so we'll go back again to the position and then set our stop loss okay just click on stop loss and click on understand okay and then you can put your stop loss equally use the slider and then you know adjust the things the way you want it okay and you use this other slider and say 100% as well. So if it goes in your favor or against you, this is what you will be losing. All right. After that, go ahead and click on confirm and you will equally confirm that take profit and stop loss. All right. So it's this simple. It's not something that is um, actually um, difficult. You see that the user interface there is very friendly. So it is something that is worth doing or worth looking at. All right. So I just wanted to share this with you. If you have questions, if you have comments, if there's anything you don't understand there, you can always use the comment section or join the Telegram group and ask a question there and you can get help from there. All right. Now, another thing I need to point out is on the chat here, you see that whatever um, you set up on the chat, it will be um, always reflecting here. So this is where we enter the market. Okay. This red line is where we enter the market, meaning that for this trade to be in profit, this candle needs to be trading above this line. All right because it is a long position we opened and then if it gets to this level this is our take profit here okay if it gets to this level um we're going to take profit okay then you see here um I, I didn't put the stop loss if i put the stop loss the line would have been appearing somewhere down here and then if it gets to that level then um it, it should just hit our stop loss and close the trade okay but right now this is what we have i'm doing this on a one minute time frame if you go to the five minutes time frame okay you see that my take profit is just beneath um above a little above the 200 moving average okay meaning that this market can retrace and get to this level before it start retracing down and the rest so that's just what i think that will work uh, happen in the market that's why i have to take this trade i just did this okay for the purpose of demonstrating this all right not because i made a good analysis in the market if i wanted to do a good analysis in the market then i would have wait for the confirmation okay to happen between um the crossover and then the you know um the, the crossover which is the macd and the signal line and then i would have just taken a trade okay so that is just all i needed to share with you in this video all right i hope the video was helpful if it is give it a thumbs up all right and once again sign up for a big get account and get you know free um funds in your account once you meet up all the requirement okay you can get all those free funds and use it to play around. That is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.